Apple has recently been more transparent when it comes to batteries in their phones, although not by choice after being sued due to the battery gate scandal. And even though there is a built-in tool within iOS to check the battery statistics, it doesn't tell the whole story. More on that after the intro. Apple introduced their battery analysis tool with the release of iOS 11.3 in March 2018. It's useful for general information about how your phone's battery is being used. Two graphs show charge and activity levels over the past 24 hours. A list below that shows what apps are using the most battery and the last 10 days tab will give you averages over that time. The figure we are interested in, however, is the battery health percentage. This is a figure that shows how much charge your battery can hold in milliamp hours at 100% now relative to when it was new. For example, a new iPhone XS has a battery capacity of 2658 milliamp hours, and if a particular phone can hold 2530 milliamp hours at full charge, then the battery health figure is 95%. This will decrease as the battery is used more. Apple say once the health percentage hits 80%, a battery replacement should be done. Here, we can also turn off the throttling feature Apple builds into the OS to avoid damage to the components from unstable power given from old batteries. This will provide better performance, but the battery will drain quicker as a result. But that's all Apple is willing to show us. Luckily, with a program called Coconut Battery for Mac, we can dive deeper into statistics about our iPhone's battery. It has a free and paid version, but the latter isn't too important for us to get some baseline figures. If you really want to pay 10 bucks for the Plus version, you'll get some features like a deeper, more comprehensive battery analysis and scanning over Wi-Fi. Anyways, Coconut Battery has three main tabs, Mac, a log, and iOS devices. It'll show you manufacture date of the device and the battery, the current charge level, and the full charge amount in milliamp hours, and the percentage below that is like our battery health number from earlier. We can also see the cycle count, which shows how many times the battery has been charged from 0 to 100. The log is a neat feature if you want to monitor how quickly your battery is deteriorating over time. You can determine if it's truly time for a battery replacement if your cycle count is high and your percentage is around 80% or lower. You can either take your phone into Apple and pay them to replace your battery, like I've done twice with decent results, or you can order a battery kit off of iFixit, which is a lot more cost friendly if you're willing to sacrifice a warranty and the risks that come along with opening your phone yourself. But it's honestly not the most difficult procedure to do, and iFixit lays out the instructions very nicely on their website along with a video tutorial. So thank you guys for watching this video. We know we've been away for a little while, but we're back. We're slowly getting back into it. We're going to come out with an update video telling you guys where we're at and where we're going, but there are more videos on the way. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.